first down under six minutes to play in the opening quarter four man rush over the middle and that is going to be picked off at the 18 yard line by Glover Quinn intended for Brown and Glover Quinn one of the, the best in the league they call him a coach on the field has had a great career in his ninth year out of New Mexico with the interception. Lions get the ball back. 5.42 to go in the first. 3 3. In the second quarter, as Roethlisberger begins this drive with a pass over the middle, and that's the first grab of the night for one Antonio Brown, who leads the league. Receptions, and every year he's going to be up among them. He's going to be well into triple figures. The yardage is spectacular. He, I mean, what a find this guy was when Mike Tomlin found him at a Central Michigan. Five Pro Bowls. Over 100 catches and 1,200 yards the last four years. <laughs> That's, uh, you almost can't even imagine that. Just staying healthy, having those numbers is amazing. Under six minutes to play in the opening half. Deep drop, deep pass, deep downfield, and it's incomplete. Might not have been catchable anyway, Antonio. Brown covered by Darius Slay. That's a primetime matchup. Oh, it really is. Darius Slay, just a fantastic cornerback. And watch all the arm pushing that you see out of Antonio Brown. Now, there was clearly fighting going back and forth. And I think the official just looked at it and said, I'm going to call that fight a draw. Mm -hmm. Didn't hurt that the ball landed out of bounds either. Correct. Second and ten. Slay back on Antonio Brown again. He is now following him around the field. Toss it to Bell, who comes back the other way. Interesting design on that play, but it's not productive. The third down and nine. Started right, go left, and a little shovel. Third down. Yeah, that's when the, you get a team that's all amped up, and Todd Haley decided he was going to try and take advantage and get them to over pursue, but. The Lions defensively have been on point tonight with this running game. This has been impressive so far. Third and nine. Roethlisberger stepping away from pressure. Deep downfield, and that's going to be caught on an adjustment by Brown at the five yard line. He got the inside position on Killebrew, the safety, and is able to haul it in to set up a first down and goal. Well, it all starts right here. Le'Veon Bell is going to pick up the blitzing linebacker. If he doesn't do that, Ben doesn't do this. And basically, this is just saying my guy is a better athlete than your guy. He saw Miles Killebrew, who's the third safety in the game. And he just threw a jump ball. That's it. That's the kind of trust and that's the kind of playmaking ability that Antonio Brown has. Play here, if they don't pick up anything, you might see the Lions take a timeout. Ben going for a bunch, and that's tipped in the air and not intercepted. Very, very close. Slay is there. Hunter couldn't handle it. It drops to the ground before the pick and complete third down and 12. Well, this got very interesting, didn't it? Little banging going around off Hunter's hands, off Slay's hands, a little tiny push, mm. and almost scooped it up with one hand. Has it, has it, has it. That Doesn't would have been it. some interception. Mm. Third and 12. Big player, the Lions get a chance. Again, they can stop him here. Can call a timeout. Better yet, an incomplete pass. Instead, it's a little pass underneath. And Antonio Brown is going to work his way for a first down. Needed 12 and got 13. Antonio Brown, big play. A screen pass all the way, only beyond the line of scrimmage. Watch all the wide receivers come down here and block. And Smith Schuster, number 19, is going to get the key block right there. And Antonio Brown did the rest. That was a tremendous call and execution on the part of Todd Haley. Kid took Glover Quinn out of the play, and Pittsburgh utilizes his first timeout. How about the Killer Bees? They borrowed that name from the old Miami Dolphins defense. 
Roethlisberger 9 of 15 for 142. Bell, a couple of big plays, 12 for 40. The, the numbers don't look that good, but he's been impressive in his own right. Touchdown, and you should, just so it Brown did. You know, sometimes with a player like Antonio Brown, you just have to throw it up and give him a chance. Great players need opportunities, even if they look covered. And in a one-point game, that is caught. Brown, who was pretty silent till the second quarter, tackled there by Wilson, very close to a first down. Spotted just short. Second and a short one. In this defense. Roethlisberger on the second, and he throws touchdown. Brown. Flag is down. A flag is down a yard into the end zone. Wipe that one away, covered by Slay, and that's Pittsburgh's first penalty of the game. Coming right at you. You can see Slay losing his footing. Kind of hard to see how far those arms are extended. The referee, I will say, was in perfect position to see that, and it's coming back. And those red zone woes. Continue coming in touchdowns on only 11 of 26 drives one for six the week prior and Big Ben just completing 43 percent of his passes in the red zone lowest rate of his career and now he's faced with a second and 18 after the flag over the middle low throw incomplete that's intended for Brown Brown and Slay again matched up third down and 18 illustrate what's happening in that Red zone, weeks five through seven, 11 drives, only two touchdowns, had to settle for eight three pointers. Two tonight with a touchdown and a field goal, but here they are again trying to retake the lead. Boy, two heavyweights on the outside going at it. Darius Slay, Antonio Brown, it's been a great matchup so far. So far in the one on one matchups, I would say Slay is having a nice night. Three man rush. Brown finds it. What a great tackle to the 21 yard line. Wow. Down at seven. I love that. Tip incomplete. Tip pass off the hand of Ben Roethlisberger, who was three yards shy tonight of 300. Well, Ben's lucky A. Sean Robinson didn't catch this one. Playing against Drew Brees, he caught one of those and walked it. Going to Smith as well. Dan Schuster is Roethlisberger throws incomplete in the Lions say thank you very much for that little break that stops the clock without the music of timeout and makes it third down and six. Well I think you know what they were doing there Mike Tomlin probably told Todd Haley listen you go get this put our best players in play that's Ben Roethlisberger <laughs> it's Antonio Brown whoever it is. We got to have this first down. We're not kicking it back to him. But it stops the clock, preserves a timeout for Detroit, and then they need obviously to stop here on third down and six. And Roethlisberger fires, and that is a flag that gets thrown. Slay and Eli Rogers got tangled up. There was a big jerk of a jersey unless it was some optical illusion. Best interference, defense, number 23. Ball place to spot a foul, automatic, first down. Lions can only wish it was an optical illusion. Let's look right there. Grab of the, uh, hand. the hand, that's exactly what it was by Darius Slay. The official in front was blocked by the receiver, the official behind with some great officiating to have seen that, and oh my goodness, they were going to get the ball back. Shovel pass, and that's a first down to Smith Schuster. He does it again, he picks up the first down, and they can run that clock all the way down to clock here. One more Pyrrhic snap coming up. 
You know, it wasn't Ben's best night, but when he had to have a play, he came up with that huge.